Hi and welcome to Shop RJ Pacini for Great Deals. Today is Friday, June 21st, 2019. Thank you for tuning in. I just want to start off by saying thank you to all the new subscribers who recently subscribed to my channel. It is greatly appreciated. I hope you like the content and come back for more. Today, I want to do a sneak peek video. And for those who are new to my channel, my name is Rich Pacini. And I do sneak peek videos, demo videos, and intro videos. And today I'm going to do a sneak peek video on three items. Two are going to be a demo, right? Uh, actually, a demo. They're going to be sneak peek videos, but I'm going to also do a demo included with this. And one is um, how to clean a small ceramic. Uh, well, I have a picture frame here, and I want to, you know, I want to show you how I clean it. You know, just to get it prepped up to take pictures. I already took the photos of these three items, and. Uh, you know, I just want to go over it with you guys and show you how I prep it to, uh, you know, get it ready for, you know, to clean it up and so on. Uh, the, the the two demo videos is going to be, one is uh, I picked up a purple Keurig uh, coffee maker. And I got my display area set up back there and I want to show you, you know, that it works and stuff like that. So I'm going to go through that really quick. That shouldn't take too long. And the other uh, thing I want to do a demo is the, um, I picked up a Panasonic uh, CD player, compact CD player. Uh, with Sony headphones and I want to talk a little about that and the, the other one I picked up the last thing I want to I picked up is the uh, it's a Disney picture frame it's ceramic and I want to again like I said again earlier I want to show you how I clean that uh, using my little handheld steamer so uh, if you guys want to stick around and check it out that'd be really you know I really appreciate it also if you are interested in some of the items I put up for eBay you might want to subscribe to my channel because every now and then I will when I do um, I do pick up items from the thrift stores or wherever um, I like to do sneak peek videos just to give you guys out there uh, a heads up as to what's gonna be going up on eBay so um, I think if you you know if you'd like to you know be up on you know update on that there you might want to subscribe and hit that bell notification icon but without further ado I don't want to take too much of your time let me get right to it let me go to the display area and I'll show you what I'm talking about thanks first demo is going to be with this compact player as you can see here I have my computer speaker set up and just to give you guys a heads up on here the speakers do not come with this unit here uh, which is here, uh, and neither does the uh, the CD. That's just for demo purposes. Um, what you will be getting with this here is um, the Sony headsets here. Uh, it looks like someone tried to repair it, put new padding on here, but these are not the correct ones. And these are kind. Of, this one here is like really shot over here, but they really do play good. Um, the reason why I got the speaker is because you know you probably could hear some music coming out of here. Uh, but like I said again, I'd rather just you know. I mean, I could plug them in. I'll let you hear it, that they do, they do work, and they really do sound good. Just that the pads are going to have to be replaced on here. You can see the pads are pretty shot. So it uh, looks like someone tried to uh, replace the pad on here, but apparently I think they got the wrong ones. But these are Sony uh, Sony ones here, as you can see here. Okay? So I don't want to go too much. I don't want to expand too much on this topic here. I want to go through it really quick as possible. Um, I'm going to sell this unit with batteries. Um, this will come with batteries. Uh, the batteries that are going to be coming with it are going to be... Uh, it's an open pack, so uh, they will be, you know, charged. They should be, you know, fully charged batteries. But um, I'm going to include batteries with this item here, uh, of course. And you're going to get the headset with it. But without further ado, let's uh, let's check it out here. I'm gonna pop this open here, and I'm going to put this disc in here. It's the uh, Mozart's Night Escape. I like classical music, so we're going to put this in here. I just want to give you a little tip for two folks. Um, a while back, I had a, a not this one here, but I had another uh, compact player I had, and um, I noticed that it was pre-owned. Of course, it wasn't mine. And the thing is, I think when people, I'm not saying they're too, they handle it too rough, but what happens is when you keep pull, putting this thing, you know, keep popping it in and out, these little spring-loaded, uh, what do you call it, like little ball bearings, I call them there. There's a look. This is like connected. It's glued in there, or whatever, you know. And I think what happens, they loosen up. And uh, I remember when I was doing a demo on one, I pulled it out. I don't know if it was a Sony or a Panasonic. It's definitely not this one. I know that it was only one. It only happened one time. And um, the top piece came off. And when this top piece comes off, the thing is shot. You can't do anything with it. So uh, my suggestion, if you whoever you are, if you buy this one or just if you have one in general, always hold your finger on this. So you keep it down. And just like you know, pop up like that there because you know. Now this one here, 
This is what I like about this one here. I didn't even realize until now. Check this out, folks. Look at this. It has a push button here. See, Panasonic made this here, and I'm glad they did that there. They made it where when you push it in, the little ball bearings here, they go in. See, that was a good invention there, this one here. This here, you shouldn't have the problem. I have to honestly say, uh, with this with this uh, CD player, I never. this is the first time I saw quite a few of these. The first time I've ever seen it where you push in to pull it out. I think they realize as time goes on uh, that people were buying these things. They're popping them in and pulling it out. And they probably got complaints, probably from consumers uh, such as yourselves. Probably said, you know, I got this CD player from you. And uh, when I pull it out, this whole top piece comes off. So once this comes off, that's it. You, you know, you could try, try crazy going in, but this was a good invention. I didn't know that there, but uh, I just noticed it just now. I picked this up last night, so I didn't get a chance to go through it a whole 100%. But I like that there. You push it in, and you see how the thing pops out? Normally, uh, when you're doing this here, you usually just pull out. But I like this feature here. This is really nice. See, you pop it out like that, and the disc comes out. This is a nice one. This really is nice. But anyway, that was the tip for the ones that don't have it. Again, if you don't have the push button feature like that, hold your hand down on it. You know, keep that. Cause you, what you want to do is put pressure on the seat and then pull up like that. Okay. All right. Anyway, we did that there. Um, I'm going to show you that it works. Let me power it on. Okay, I think it's one of these buttons here that you have to hit. I think when you turn. Okay, it's this one here. When you hit it, to the, hit this button here. You can see that. Okay, you can see it's just one disc in there, right? Whatever, you see it there? Okay. Oh, by the way, let me just say what this is. Let me read the model here. I'm going to read this to it so you can get an idea too. It's Panasonic Portable CD Player SL. It's the model number, I believe. SL-S140XBS. Uh, it says over here, heat-resistant uh, polycarbonate body. And it says mesh. And here you got all your control buttons here. Okay, you got all your control buttons here. You got the um, skip, search, memory recall. You got the repeat, and then you got some stuff over here. You got some more buttons over here. Oh my gosh, this thing is. This is I gotta say one thing. Uh, this one here. I, I mean, I've come across a lot of these, but this one has a lot of buttons here, a lot of features here. Uh, it's got your whole feature uh, over here. I'm trying to look at the same thing as, to as I'm talking to you guys. Let's see, uh, mode, uh, resume. And then it says, looks like it says random. Get yeah, random. Here's where your headset goes in. Here's the XBS on off. So we're gonna, I guess, all right, we'll leave it on for now. Here's your volume switch. Uh, here's where you put an AC adapter back here. You don't have, you're not getting one with this here, so please keep that in mind. I don't know what this one is here, but that says out. You could probably put external speakers on it as well. Okay, now for all intents and purposes, let's. Let's see if I can plug this in and you can hear some music from the uh, stereo, from the uh, headphones. Let's see here. All right. Okay. So you can see it is playing with this here. All right. All right. So you know, you know these work. And let's do it with the speaker so you get the full sound of it. Whoopsie. Oh. sound good folks you know I guess to share this with you guys um, people that ask me uh, even my friends and family say why do you go me to slow this down uh, they'll say why do you go through all the trouble to do demo videos like this and, and you know why folks you know why I go through this yeah I don't mind doing it it's a lot of extra work you know and putting you know because I have to upload it to another the video editing stuff but you know why I do it folks it's because I've been uh, on the other sites, uh, other sellers that sell on eBay and Amazon stuff. And the thing is, a little dust in here. Uh, the thing is, what people say to me, well, not to me, but from what I read on the story on here from their videos, is that people will complain and say, I bought this thing and it doesn't work. And uh, I really find that <laughs> kind of a, well, I'm not saying I'm shocked over it, but, you know, I just find it kind of amusing that, you know, a person would actually put something up like that and it wouldn't, you know, they would, they would you know, sell something to a person, uh, you know, not, no, I'm not saying they would definitely knowingly that it, that doesn't work, but I, I would find that a little hard to believe on the seller's part that why would someone put something up like this, selling it, you know, and then sending it off to a buyer, knowing it's not going to work, you know? Um, 
there's a lot, it could be a number of reasons, you know, maybe when the buyer got it, maybe it wasn't packed properly and it got damaged. I always make sure everything's packed really well when it comes to sending these things out. I always do that, you know, do my due diligence with that. But, um, yeah, but you hear stories like that. And then the person will say, the buyer will say, oh, I already see the thing, it doesn't work. Um, for, for all intents and purposes, this, this works. If it's working here at this premise, it should definitely work at your, at your, your place of residence, right? There should be no, no doubt in my mind. Uh, I sold quite a few of these here, to be honest with you folks. And the other thing I want to share with you guys really quick, um, when it comes to uh, buying anything from me before you buy from me, I definitely recommend that you look at my feedback first. Okay, I'm top rated plus. People say, ah, there's a lot of top rated plus, but to me it means a lot, you know what I'm saying? And the reason why I think when a person uh, such as a buyer, you, you as a potential buyer, if you're going to buy from a... Uh, what do you call it there? As a, uh, you know, a buyer, you're going to want to know, you know, what the seller is all about. I know I do. I would want to know what the seller is all about. I'd want to know, hey, you know, uh, you guys, you know, what are you doing? What's your, what's your uh, return policy? You know, do you return things? And, you know, uh, you know, and I like to read the feedbacks and stuff, you know. But uh, for the most part, uh, whenever I buy stuff, uh, and I'm not saying it in a mean way, but I like to buy with from a, you know, a top-rated seller. I mean, that's just me. I mean, there's other people out there not top-rate seller, but I like to buy from them, you know. And uh, it just assures me that they're going to do their due diligence to do right by you as the buyer. And I give 100% money-back guarantee uh, on all the items I sell, new and pre-owned. Sometimes I do come up with uh, new items. So, uh, you know, you never have to worry about buying from me, okay. So don't ever worry about that there. So if you buy from me, you'll be okay, believe me. I, don't, I have no... A no haggle return policy, okay? So, uh, but I just wanted to share it with you. But that's the reason why I do that because a lot of people, you know, will ask sometimes to say, you know, how come a person goes all through this year? And it's because I hear these stories and I see them on YouTube from other sellers, and they, you know, they're not complaining, but they're saying the buyer, you know, ordered something and it doesn't work. So that's why I do it. Anyway, let me hit this here. Stop this here. Um, I'm going to break with this here. I'm going to do the uh, demo video if you want to stick around for the Keurig coffee pot. Uh, that should be quick, cut and dry. I'll talk a little about it. Um, before I do get on off that top, onto that, that other one, let me just say something really quick about this one here. Whoops, let me just, uh, let me just pop this out really quick. Whoopsie, I got to take that off here. Um, the, as far as the overall condition on this unit, before I close out this video, this part of it, um, it's got like minor little scuff marks on it, like, you know, for handling. Like I said, this, these, the items I'm showing you are not mine. These are pre-owned. Uh, this one over here, just for you know, just in case you want to know, it says over here, July 1996. I guess that's when this that's when this thing was made. Um, when you put your batteries in here, they come in the back. Sometimes they upload in here. I've had that. Ha I've seen that happen. But they, you know, they uh, they load in the bottom. And again, uh, with this unit here, I will include batteries um, with this here. And like I said, it's pretty clean overall. Uh, it doesn't have too much any, you know bad bed anything like really heavy duty scuff mark it's just got light wear on it okay all right but anyway and I, I, thing I want to clarify is again um, you're gonna get these with it you're gonna get these like I said the padding on here is pretty shot but um, if you could order new padding these are Sony and you did hear them play okay they do play they do work really good so I tested them out and but when you pop them in there and you listen to the classical music this thing really sounds awesome it really does it really plays nice and you know what uh, I'm including it with them. You know, I, I, if you don't want them, um, you know, you can use them as a spare, or you can go, to, you know, pick up another your own pair from I don't know, you know, with a store or whatever. Me personally, I would keep them because they're Sony. Uh, these ain't these aren't no knockoffs. These are original Sony's. What I would do is uh, find out maybe on eBay uh, if you can get the padding for this here. I know you can replace them. I know that there because I remember seeing them on there. You could get the pads for them here, here. But yeah, these pads are pretty like. Eh. Looks like a person tried to replace them, and uh, I don't know if they put the wrong size in here. If they did, whatever. But these things, for some reason, they always get all messed up. Okay? And, again, uh, just to keep your heads up on it, the speakers do not come with it, and neither does this. All right. Let me um, go get the uh, copy pot. I want to show you that really quick. Talk a little about it, and then I want to just show you how I clean the uh, ceramic piece. So if you could stick around, that'd be great. Okay. Here you have the uh, Keurig. This is a purple Keurig. I don't know how it's going to show up on the video because I got the light, the contrast is always messed up over here. 
This item here has been tested already, but I like to do a demo just to show you guys. It needs a little more touching up over here, a little, uh, I don't know, I guess I get, when I clean it, I get that chemical on it, whatever. But um, this unit here, it works really good. Uh, there are minor little scuff marks on it, not too bad on the body itself. Um, it's pretty clean overall. You know, a little dust, like I said, I did clean it up. Last night I was working on this thing, cleaning up, making sure everything was good, tested it out and stuff. But um, yeah, I just wanted to go over really quick. These here, there's little marks here from my hand just to let you know. It's not scratches or scuff marks, you know. I don't really think there's any blemishes on there. Um, yeah, well, let me just tell you a little about it. First off, the uh, tray itself, the catch tray, I call it catch tray. This has been cleaned out pretty good to the best of my ability. I soaked it everything in water and stuff, so I try to get the best I could over here. Might have to be a little more cleaned out. Um, this here, this chrome piece, and this is not really metal. This is plastic. But you can see here, it's got it, the uh, chrome pieces are chipping off on it, okay? But, I mean, overall, the unit itself is clean, all right? Um, what's nice about this unit is it comes with one of these, you could add your own coffee. So let's say you're a person that doesn't want to deal with, uh, you know, you don't want to buy the Keurig. They make these little cups here, these little things here, let me see if I get open up, where you would fill this up with coffee of your type, whatever brand you want, whatever you drink and you would put it in here and then you know, pop it in here like this and just throw it in there like that make sure it lines up close it up and you're good to go also this one here sometimes when you buy these Keurigs they don't have this part here it snaps in I if I can get it out of here without breaking anything this here now this one comes with it of course uh, I wouldn't dare sell it without it but you know when I was cleaning this up you could say I traded good job on cleaning it somewhat right um if you ever find this here to get clogged up a lot of, i don't know if people know i didn't know like i said i've sold quite a few of these but i know i never really took notice of it but this one here if you push it in over here like this here like that this comes off i didn't know that there and you can give it a nice washing a nice soaking that's what i did earlier to make sure it was nice and clean see and uh, i didn't know that there but um yeah if you ever have a problem where it gets clogged up in there see in here you can just pop this off here it snaps on, whatever, like that, and you're good to go, okay? So, yeah, sometimes I see these in a store. Just turn it around here. Sometimes you see these in a store uh, where they don't have this in here. Um, I don't know, maybe the owner of it was buying a new Keurig or something like that, or whatever the case may be. Sometimes these are missing from there. So whenever I go to a store, if I pick up these here, I always try to make sure, number one, I test them out to make sure I get power in there. You really can't put water in this. It's kind of like a hit and miss thing. thing. But for the most part, um, I never had a problem with these here. As a matter of fact, I have uh, two right now. <coughs> get a rag, let me get that water off here. Um, I have two right now, two black ones that are on uh, listed right now on eBay. <coughs> Excuse me. They're going for uh, $29.99 with best offer. Now, I do have people watching them, but again, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Uh, it's like the old saying, "Was watch it, but no take us." But I don't know if it's you know uh, if it's too high of a price. Uh, they work. I did demos on those as well. Uh, for some reason, like I said, I guess people are still shopping around. Maybe they can get. They feel they can get it better. I can only, like I said, I'll probably be listing this for the same price. So uh, if you guys are interested in this here, uh, please make a reasonable best offer. I have been accepting best offers on a lot of my stuff. So uh, if you do see any other merchandise I have out there. Please make a reasonable best offer, and uh, I'm willing to work with you guys, you know. So, uh, you know, just keep that in mind. But anyway, um, yeah, getting back to this here, whenever I buy these things, I always try to make sure uh, they're, they're in working condition, of course, and they're, not, and they're clean. They're not too bad, you know. This, this unit didn't need too much cleaning. Basically, like a little, um, you know, touch up here and there, like, you know, as far as like a little cleanse, you know, cleaning, a little extra cleaning. Uh, I just want to make sure I'm putting this thing in there right. I don't want to break it. <laughs> Okay, I know they usually go in and snaps in there. I'm sorry guys, just want to make sure I got this in right here. I don't want I don't want this to break. Isn't that like me, right? I take it out, I can't get in. There we go. I think that's it. Okay. There we go. Alright, yeah, I wanna make sure I wanna make sure I got it in right. And this thing here, see that little that little ling there, little bevel there, little bow? Make sure you line those up. You know, don't put it you well you can see first off it ain't gonna close anyway if you don't do it right, it's not gonna close, but it's self-explanatory. If you put your coffee in, just go like that. Make sure it lines up, and you're good to go. Okay, uh, this here, if you don't have one of these prongs, like this, a three-prong thing here, you can always buy an adapter like this here. If you have the old type of uh, receptacle in your house, 
you pop it in here you see what I'm talking about this type of thing you plug in here like this here uh, especially if you're gonna use it with an extension cord which I really don't recommend to do uh, usually people keep them on the countertops but I'm doing it for all intents and purposes to show you that this thing does work um, this cable this cord does pop out of here you can, I don't know how much you can pull it out but it does come out so uh, right now I'm just gonna leave it the way it is I don't want to get too too much into it I'm gonna plug it in oh and the other thing uh, before I plug it in the other thing is over here the brew button and the power button they're kind of like faded you see, as a matter of fact, there's no letters on here. See it? Let me zoom in just so you can see it. <laughs> I know. Uh, I can't help that. That's the way I bought it. But it's clean. The unit itself is clean. But, uh, yeah, the, the brew button is, uh, you can see where it had the wording in there. Uh, you can see it's faded. And the power button, that's just like a little circle with a notch in it there. You see it over here. Um, you can see it right there. That's kind of faded too. If you're going to clean your pot, if you do, or the lucky buyer, this thing you do clean it, uh, don't put anything abrasive on here because you'll, you'll really finish it off. I mean, unless you want to remove it, you know, if it's going to, if it's your pot, you know that that's how, you know how, it, you know, it's going to work, how it's going to brew. All right. So anyway, let's uh, plug it in. Let me put the tray here. And remember, folks, the tray here, I don't know if you can see it in the video here, but it is, you can see it's pitted here. It's got some of the plastic chrome. This is plastic, by the way, it's not metal. Uh, you can see it's been pitted. And some of it's been peeling off. Uh, I cleaned it with a light cleanser. I didn't want to go into any scuff brights, you know, scotch bright thing there, because then you'll really make it messed up. Uh, but otherwise, I mean, it's going to probably get messed up and scratched anyway over a long period of time from putting the coffee cups on and off. All right, so let's plug this guy in. And we'll go like this here, like that. All right, let's move so you can see it. I just got a cup of water here, not much. Uh, hit the power button on. You see the uh, lights on. All right, there's no coffee to put in here, but we're just going to pretend we put coffee in there. Going to pop it in. Here. Now, when it comes to uh, using this unit, uh, the way you clean them, I was under the way I understand it, you put vinegar in here to clean. I ran water a couple times in there. Uh, I took a, a little sponge in here, a little cleanser, try to get it out, and made sure it was all dried out, you know, pretty good. Uh, but for the most part, um, if you, I was told if you're going to clean these things run vinegar you know what you know with water and then put vinegar in there something like that there it'll cleanse it out whatever but it came out pretty clean i ran a couple times to uh make sure everything was all flushed out in there because these are pre-owned all right so let's put the water in here all right so now what you got to do is it's kind of like you got to reset it so to speak all right let's close this guy up here in order for it to work, you got to lift it up. Here, the water draining in there. Okay, you close it up. Now we're pretending we have a cup. We put our coffee thing in there, right? We, <laughs> the Phantom Coffee, right? And that light's going to come on, blinking blue. Remember, folks, it's it's that's your brew button. It's going to hit it once you push it. It's going to turn red. Okay. Now you got to give it a little time to heat up, but. Um, you could hear it now. I know I could pause the camera and let it, you know, and then come back to it, but I want I want you to see it in full function, you know, I want you to see the whole thing, no smoke and mirrors here. <laughs> Alright. That's how I like to do my videos, folks. No trick photography here. You know, when I sell you something. I want to make sure that you got the full effect of it. That's why I do these sneak peek videos, demo videos, and intro videos because I want you to know, as a, you as a potential buyer, eBay buyer, because uh, right now that's why I sell exclusively on eBay. Uh, I want you to know that if you buy something from me, it's going to work. For the most part, uh, you should have no problem with this here. You know, I pack them really well. Um, they're always wrapped in plastic when I do wrap them up. You know, when I do sell like this here, it'll be wrapped up in plastic. Uh, most times I put cardboard around it and then the padding around it. So I want to make sure, like my saying is, it gets to you in one piece, not in pieces. Okay. All right. Once it's all drained out, that light should go off, which it did. All right. This here, oh, it's dry. Okay. Well, we know it ran through there because it came over here. And if you look over here, folks, uh, if you can see the steam coming over here, can you see it? Yeah, you can see it. Uh, that's it. Uh, and it's this here is hot, <laughs> very hot. So, uh, yeah, that wraps up the um, 
the demo for the Keurig. Okay, here's that picture frame I was talking about. It's ceramic. And I know there are people that have their own cleaning techniques or methods, whatever, but I like to do it with my little handy steamer here. Okay, it's plugged in, it's a con air, and you can see the water level here is filled up. And when you hold the trigger in there, um, you know, it'll give you, it'll start dispersing the steam. But uh, let me just show you really quick here. This is a real nice piece. Now, this is a musical photo frame, but here's the thing with this here, folks. The frame, uh, the musical part of it, is not there, as you can see. It's, it's missing, all right? Now, I don't know, maybe someone took it out. Maybe the thing broke. Maybe it didn't work anymore and they took it out. Um, I'll be honest with you. With this frame here, I don't think it was ever open because I had a hard time opening it here. I had to use my uh, an exacto knife to try to separate it. This was that I did. I believe these might have been one of these things that were purchased a long time ago. They probably went on a trip or whatever, and they never really got a chance to use it. You know uh, why? I don't know. It's a beautiful piece. What I like about it, if you get a little close up here, you got all the characters here. Uh, you got Buzz Lightyear, Buzz Lightyear, Goofy. You got Aladdin's lamp. You got Donald Duck, Mickey. I mean, uh, yeah, Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse. You got the little chipmunks over here. You got the Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. I guess that is here, right? Yeah, whatever. Um, well, that's Snow White. I guess right there. Then you got the little bear things. I don't know all. Here's uh, Peter Pan. Uh, here's Dumbo. All right. But you got a lot of characters. It's really nice. It's really a nice piece uh, if you look at it. Um, Here's the price on it originally back then when it was purchased. It was uh, $22.90. Oh, no, $22. I'm sorry. I'm making my glasses on it. Let's see if good. Uh, it's $22. It was purchased back then. And uh, Walt Disney Parks. Yeah, this was in resource. This is, uh, yeah, Lake Buena Vista, Florida. This is the one I used to go to. I never went to the one in California. I heard the one, not for, no offense, but I heard the one. Uh, this is what people were telling me anyway. They said the one in uh, Florida was uh, a lot better. I don't know why, I don't know what's the difference, but that's what I was told. I don't know how true it is, but uh, I went here a couple times with my kids. I went, before, you know, on a honeymoon, we went to Walt Disney World too. And uh, I, I always liked the one in Florida. Well, there's other, you know what it is too, with Florida, there's a lot of other attractions. Like I like to go to Nassau and, you know, there's other things to see out there in Florida. Uh, I'm sure there is in California too, but, uh, you know, I'm more of an East Coast guy. <laughs> Anyway, so as you can see, it's pretty clean. It's nice. It could, you know, but um, when it comes to cleaning things like this, you got to be very careful, all right, when it comes to things because you got little pieces here, very intricate pieces. And uh, if you want to put, you don't want to put a sponge there and so on and so forth because you got to be careful, you know, you don't damage it, whatever, break a little piece off. Uh, this picture frame looks pretty good. I don't see looking at it closely. It doesn't look like any parts of it were broken. There's any pieces broken off of here, not that I know of. Uh, I sold a picture frame like this once before, and uh, it had like little pieces, like other characters, and the hand was broken off, or an ear, like the butt, like a rabbit, whatever it was on there. Uh, and you know, it, 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 but people still bought it though. Uh, people still bought it. They still, they, needless to say, they bought it. Uh, but this one's in pretty condition. Uh, I had to take the back off here and open it up here to. Uh, see the size in here and it's three and a half by five or five by eight by five by yeah five this way and three and three and a half down but you can see it's a very small window okay and this is not glass by the way it's just plastic you know the plastic cellophane whatever it's not glass I know people may say is there glass sometimes they come with glass this is not glass okay but uh, even though it's a five by three and a half or three and a half by five uh, look at the small frame here you got here so if you're going to take a family photo um, try <laughs> <laughs> try to get it close by uh, but it's really a nice piece it really is a ceramic and if you take care of this thing it'll last your lifetime but anyway let me show you how I clean it really quick um, all right now I got my soft bristle brush here right nice soft clean soft bristle brush and I got my steamer and I got a rake now well, you know, the only reason I want to put the rag here well it's not a rag actually it's an old handkerchief but even though this is plastic here uh, you know I got a plastic top here uh, I don't want it to uh, with the cloth. All right. So what I'm going to do is really quick. Um, that's all right. I'll clean that later. Throw it in the wash. Okay. I'm going to take my steamer here. All right. And I'm going to hit that button here. You can hear the noise. All right. All right. Now you're probably thinking, oh, you know, most people didn't know they're going to say, oh, he's going to clean with this here. No, this here I'm not going to do with that there. All right. So once I get enough steam coming out of here, you can see it there. I need to see that in the camera. Can you see it in the camera, folks? I don't know if you can see it. Anyway, there's steam coming out here. You can see it like that. 
I can see my hands get moisture on it. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go close here. You can see the frame is uh, steaming up here. And very lightly, with a soft bristle brush, I'm just going to take off any dirt, like dust that gets in between here, and these like the flowers and stuff, and even the characters. But go over it lightly. Uh, you don't want to use a sponge on it because if you have a sponge or whatever, uh, it might get caught on one of the characters, and uh, you don't want that there because you'll end up breaking. And very gentle, yeah, and very gentle, okay? Now with this steamer here, it cuts out sometimes. You gotta wait for it to always get the, you know, to build up again. And basically, what you want to do is just clean it. Cause like you know, here's the thing I'm talking. Let me just put it for a side. It's getting in those little crevices over here. See over here? It's getting to like the little grass around here. That's the hard part to clean. If you had a rag and stuff like that, it would be impossible to clean. Not impossible, but it'd be hard to clean it. You know. But this is how I like to do it. Um, like I said again, a soft brush. And like I said, with the steamer here. Um, don't concentrate too much over here. I mean, that'll dissipate, that'll dry out, but you don't want to stay too close on that cellophane. But you do want to get the characters, okay? And you just want to go like this, really quick with it. Uh, the only reason I got caught here is just in case there's any water, the moisture that drips off, it'll drip on that. And uh, you just want to hit them very light. Don't put any cleanses on here, because you might, you know, fade the colors, okay? You might fade the colors on here. Uh, the characters, the paint, you know, the ceramic paint. And what you want to do is basically what you're doing is you're just dusting off, but you're using the steam to loosen up any dust or dirt. Right? Like that. I, I, this is how I like to clean my stuff. I've done this here with other things. It's nice and uh, it doesn't leave any chemical residue on it. You know, like let's say I was clean this with a, a chem, you know, chemical a cleanser. Uh, you don't want any residue. If you have something where you can get at it very gently, just try to go like that. This is pretty clean. Oh, these characters are pretty clean. Uh, if you feel like you got too much steam on, you could always just pat it very lightly. Okay. And the same thing with this here. Let's shut this off here. Uh, we don't want to keep all that water, so let's try to get that very gently. Um, yeah. Now, if you if, if you are the lucky buyer of this here, uh, keep in mind, folks, that there um there is not uh, what do you call it there? There is no uh, music box with this here. Okay. Remember, the music box is gone. And uh, but that's 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 basically it. That's how I clean ceramic things with it. And you can use a steamer, but very gently. If you're going to get to it, use the toothbrush, like a, a soft bristle one. If you're going to clean delicate items like this here, okay. Nice piece. This will be going up. So if there's any Disney people out there, I also have Disney stuff on there too. I have a Disney a Cinderella. I think it's a Cinderella watch or a Mickey Mouse watch. Uh, I also have some Mickey Mouse. I think a Walt well, Mickey Mouse. I have a Walt Disney hat. Uh, I might be have a couple. I'm not sure, but check it out my uh, check it out on my uh, eBay listings, okay? And uh, that's gonna end this video right now. I hope you like the sneak peek video, and if you do, if you do want to be updated as to when I post new videos out, folks, please don't forget to uh, hit that subscribe button, like, comment, and share. And if you want to be updated as to when I post out new videos, um, please hit that bell notification icon. Well. That concludes the sneak peek demo video. I hope you guys got a takeaway from it. I hope it was helpful. And for all the potential eBay buyers out there, I hope this will help you make a better decision when making purchases from me. I always say in some of my videos, before you make any purchases, please check out my feedback score and see what I'm all about, see what the others are saying. If you like any of the items I have, I have everything with best offers. If you make them reasonable, I have been accepting them. In the meantime, I'm going to close this video out. I wish you guys a happy, healthy weekend. My name is Rich Bassini. I just want to say also thank you again to the new subscribers who subscribe to my channel. It is greatly appreciated. I hope you like the content and come back for more. And if you want to be updated, please subscribe to my channel, like, comment, and share. And most of all, if you want to be updated as to when I post out new videos, I do sneak peek videos, demo videos, and intro videos, you got to hit that bell notification icon. This is Tris Pacini signing off. Until next time, bye-bye now.